Quick Round the Empire from Dallas, Texas. Our live shows are theatrical, super energetic, and crazy. We just have a lot of fun. Right now, we are in New York in the recording studio working with Dan Corniff for our second record that should be released sometime this summer. There's a lot of hard work going on. Everybody's doing their own thing in different places, but overall, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a totally different process than last time, so it's exciting to kind of see things done differently, and we're putting a lot more heart into this one, I think. The album actually has a concept behind it. It's kind of a continuation. The first album was called The Fallout. It was about, you know, a post-apocalyptic world and uh, a bunch of different kind of love stories to people who, um, you know, what would you say to them if the, if the world was about to end? This one is kind of based around, you know, the gathering of all the people that, you know, survived through all of it, forming resistance against, like, a, a big evil corporation, you know, sticking it to the man sort of feel. Tobacco doesn't fit our style for a bunch of reasons. I don't smoke cigarettes because my dad used to smoke. I know it wasn't good for him and he wasn't gonna live as long to stick around for my family. So as a family, we talked to him about it and got him to stop. I'm trying to hold myself to the same standard. 4.5 trillion cigarette butts are littered every year worldwide. That's enough to fill up almost two football stadiums to the top every year. 4.5 trillion cigarette butts just toss on the ground in the year is insane. I can't even count that high. So every person on the planet would have to pick up 642 cigarette butts a year to rid the world of cigarette butt litter. That's insane. One thing I, I saw growing up is I, I would go to the lake all the time and just see tons and tons of cigarette butts in the water. You know, the chemicals from those poison the water kill aquatic life you know, pretty much everywhere. Yeah.